Hey everyone, welcome back to More Fabrics. I am here to share with you guys an Etsy shop share. This is a crafty channel. Get a chance, go ahead and thumbs up, like, and subscribe, obviously. Um, get a chance, go ahead and down below in the drop down menu is the links to the shop I'm sharing today. This is Dawn, um, and her shop is called Scrapbook Sage. And I wanted to show you a couple of journals that I have of hers here that I fell in love with. Not only just the journal and the quality of prices uh, as well. So I wanted to share uh, a flip through of this beautiful um, peacock journal and this lavender journal, which is absolutely adorable. Again, like I said, down below, get a chance before I go through the flip through or after. It's all totally up to you. But I wanted to share her because she does, like I said, not only quality work, but her prices are amazing. I know the journals I got, I think, were around $25. 20 to $25 for a junk journal is an amazing price. And for all that she puts in them as well, I was just totally shocked. I was just like, uh, uh, the, it's just beautiful. I, I had to grab them. I had to share her. Um, she also has digital kits in her shop. So the things that you see in these journals, too, are part of her digitals. So um, her digital kits are, I think, like $2. Crazy, huh? <laughs> it's crazy. And she has wallpaper packs and wallpaper that she sells as well. She did send me some beautiful goodies, which look at this. I couldn't, I mean, hello. How adorable is that? Right? And then she gave me a sample of one of the wallpapers that she has in her shop, which a pretty good large size. I mean... It's like it's York wallpaper. It's got like a satin look to it, a lavender satin. I don't know if my lighting is showing you, but that is that. She did send me a, a beautiful card. Of course, everyone loves those blank envelopes, right? You could reuse them. Ooh, goodness. And in it, she had sent me extra goodies. She did send me Happy Mail um, in October on my birthday. I was searching everywhere. I imagine I have it in my junk journal stash. That I have for the journals I'm gonna do one day. <laughs> I wish I never have time. It seems like every time I, I, I attempt to make time, I don't have time. Mm -hmm. So it's in there somewhere. And when I do find them, Don, thank you for those beautiful goodies for my birthday. I'm going to share her shop again for you guys so you guys can see. But she has been really rocking the digital kits and um, I don't know which one to start first. So as you guys can see, this is gonna be a rather long video but again take a peek at her shop check her out she is an etsy shop owner she's a small business let's support a small business right let's do it this way beautiful lavender lavender and greens are my two favorite colors if i would say my favorite color it would be green but this lavender one caught my eye because i love gardening and i love flowers and it's just beautiful and of course i think okay i would say the number one reason when i see this turtle of course fabric look at this fabric beautiful lavender and like a deep blue and green and she did like a simple like scrappy like tie she just used her you know scissors at the edge and then um she just stitched lightly and it's gonna unravel sure it's gonna fringe but it's gonna look gorgeous through time <clears throat> it is it looks like she used upholstery fabric and look at how cute, cute little charm I've been doodling with. I imagine this is from one of her digital kits. Look at the color and quality, absolutely gorgeous. As you could tell guys, I went shopping as I was on vacation, if you call it a vacation, <laughs> medical vacation. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip through here, but you're gonna see how much stuff she puts in here. Beautiful papers, this is in here. It was just sitting there. Gives you a lot of room to play with. Oh, look at that. Yep, that is from her digital basil. I love lemon balm. I use lemon balm. I have, a, I have all the plants on my um, kitchen counter, and I have them outside as well in pots that I put in my teas every day. Lemon balm is probably my favorite. I love mint. Mint is one of my favorites. Look how beautiful these papers are. Of course, she did. Look at that. For the price, everything, I mean, it's just, she goes above and beyond in her journals. Um, and uh, if you're lucky to get a journal, they, they sell fast, right, Don? And uh, so if you're going to run over there, you might as well grab <laughs> what's left before they're gone. Um, and I imagine if you really love this journal, 
I imagine she could try her best to make one for you. Just go ahead and message her. I'm sure that um, she would gladly do a custom order for you. And uh, so I'm going to flip through. I know the Peacock Journal, oh my gosh, I seen it when she, she had posted in my... Um, in my uh, YouTube, YouTube, oh my goodness, my uh, Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook group, down below is the Facebook group. If you're an Etsy shop owner or if you're a shop owner who wants to share what you make and create, it is a crafty um, group. So, and even if you're not a shop person, if you feel like you want to share what you create, join the group. <clears throat> Post what you do. Look at this card. Part of her digitals, I think. Because it feels like it's a, yeah, it's a paper or that might be scrapbook paper, but it's gorgeous and it goes so well with all of this. But yeah, join the group. And um, so back to her story, she had posted this in the group and I had to grab it. And I had to share with you guys. Look at this. Yeah, mostly I wanted to capture not only her journal making, but her digital kit. So you can actually see what you're actually getting. Look at the cluster thing here she did here. And that is like a suede. No? No, that's not suede. That is a corduroy. My brain this morning. It is only 8.30. I didn't say 8.30. It's early, but not, not enough coffee, I guess. Look at in the middle. I didn't even realize she did dangles in the middle. Look at how cute. See, a lot of scrapbooking pages, a lot of, like I said, her digital work. Go over there and check it out. Here's the other side of that page, the Victorian page. Look at the three little girls on the stools. <laughs> oh my gosh, back in the day when children abide, right? Look at there. Little note cards. Look at that. I wish she was here to tell me if that's part of her digitals. But a lot of beautiful pieces you get in her journals. Oh, look at this upholstery piece of fabric. She had used one of the samples from the upholstery pack. And you can see here in the back, um, over there. How beautiful, huh? So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this. Maybe do my garden photos in here. But I had to share. I had to grab this. It's gorgeous. I had to share her shop. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that page. It's actually a card. It comes out and she's sewn around the edges. Look at all this stuff. Goodness. And there's a bag at the back. And then out comes these beautiful pieces that you can play with. It's like a lot of little goodies in that bag. All right. On to the peacock one. I'm going to set that there for now. All right, look at this beauty. I'll put her right on top here. She put this beautiful piece of lace <clears throat> as a tie, which I think it complements it very well because it's bold itself, right? But um, especially that spine. Look at that fabric. A beautiful upholstery fabric. Look at these pages. Look at she put all the cute little lace on the border. Ah, this is how it looked when she posted it in the group and I went straight over to her shop and like, bam. Again, I imagine if you ask her, you can see if she can make you one just like this. I know a lot of um, our followers love peacocks. I um, mean, you know, I could name a bunch of names, but I won't shout them out. I'm sure you guys are raising your hand right now. Me, me, me. <clears throat> but it's just gorgeous. Look at these pages. Like I said, a lot of this is part of her digital kits. You can get these for two bucks affordable um, from her shop. It almost feels like that's painted, but it's not. It's gorgeous. Pansies. That is a pocket. Look at there. I have Mr. Don in the shop. You guys can hear him tinkering in the background. He's fixing one of my tools for um, cutting the um, embroidered fabrics because they're really thick. And using the scissors, a lot of the times, it puts, like, blisters all over my hands and I go through scissors like every week I'm buying more scissors and Shelby if she's watching this video my helper she agrees she doesn't want any more blisters as well so this tool one of the blades broke 
and thankfully my husband's pretty handy um, he uh, can help me out and he ordered the blades and you have to put them on they're not just like a rotary blade where you could put them on yourself but you have to unscrew the whole thing look at this how cute is that it looks like she like printed onto this music page um, so that's what he's doing now. I have a lot of cutting to do today and I needed to make sure that tool was up and ready. We had ordered the parts before I left. Look here. This is like a garden page and then it has like a pocket. I love how she lightly put lace on the border. Sometimes it's too bold. The book is already bold itself, but I love how she just put the beautiful elegant laces on the border. Look at this. A lots of room to put garden stuff in as well. I figure these two books are perfect bird garden. Here in Florida, we have a lot of new like birds that I'm not used to from up north. Not sure if I got glued down or what. I don't want to rip yet. It looks like it's a page and it might have got glued down. I'm going to work with that later. Sometimes that happens when they make journals, right? Look at there. Again, don't forget to run over to her shop. And like I said, if there's certain books that you are wanting created, look how gorgeous. This is totally me. If anyone wants to know what Selena's style is, Victorian, elegant, birds, garden, um, is me. Look at that peacock. Just so gorgeous. Isn't that so cute? Oh, wow. You see the two little fairies right there? How cute. A belly band with some more goodies and look at it, it's still it's three signatures look at it. it's like chunky for sure and uh oh my god i love that page the victorian anything victorian the quality of victorian if i could have victorian fabrics um i do hoard those mid-century fabrics i absolutely love i love civil war fabrics look at that if I had another me, I would be doing a lot more crafting and I wish I could. It's just really hard, you know, when you run businesses um, to do both. But now that I have a helper, I'm getting a little better. Um, let me see here. Let me get a card to show you. She has like a belly band here, which this card won't fit. Yeah, there you go. Let's see how she did that. And it's like a stretchy lace. Um, so the way I can, I can't wait to do some more crafty things. I miss my quilting for years. I've been talking about wanting to quilt with you guys and it looks like it's one of the cards that she has. Looks like she put in like one of those cards on the page. How cool is that? And some more goodies and envelope. There's that envelope card. I'm glad I got another one. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that page. Oh my gosh. That is a gorgeous page. Look at that. And another belly band, which I'm going to put a little most beautiful right here. Look at that. I'm not trying to speak loud because I noticed my speaker is in front of my face. In my last video, it just kept going sharp pitches and I imagine it was annoying. So I'm trying to talk soft and low. <laughs> um, so I don't, usually I'm, I'm a fast talker and I'm working on that my mind has got so much stuff on my brain that look at here how cute is this this unties and there's a little envelope that you can put something cute in there like some stamps or something imagine here we go we got some pockets here corner pockets another belly band look at plenty of things to do and put in Another pocket, look at this. Again, I'm still working on it here. Go over to her shop, guys. Check it out. Again, two bucks for digitals. <clears throat> Cannot beat that. All right, on the last signature, I'm telling you, this book, I couldn't believe it. I had to grab it. So gorgeous. It's going to go right on my shelf. One day I'll show you guys my shelf of journals. I have so many things. Look at there, a cute little envelope. So many things I want to do, but it's like the time factor. Look here, here's another one. I already put a little envelope in there. 
yeah, it's like a little pocket. Imagine I could put this there, and you can add something in with it. There we go. See, I'm working on my journal a little bit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's another one. For some reason, I can't leave a page without adding something. <laughs> stop, Selena, stop. Oh my gosh. All right. So as you can see, I'm here getting, it's like the never-ending book here. So much. You get so much. Another cluster. She loves wallpaper, and I know she really loves upholstery fabrics. I haven't had a chance to get my hands on them. I know I have a lot of stuff in storage. I just haven't had a chance to go to storage. And, uh... I know I got upholstery fabrics. I'm sure I got plenty of fabrics. To list, it's just a matter of time to list. Time, time and time. Oh, looky here. See, look at this fabric. It's almost like chenille fabric. And then you flip it. It's one of those sample pages from a, an upholstery sample. So she cut it to fit that page and it goes so well, doesn't it? Good job, Dawn. She's absolutely gorgeous. Good job. Oh, look here. Here's a digital of of a uh, of a embroidered piece of linen, and this is a wooden piece here that is like dyed. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's like cross stitch and embroidered. A cute little cluster. It's like a doily, upholstery, and some paper. Another one. Look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? There you guys have it. Run on over there. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, help small businesses out. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.